Hello Hoopers and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing traveling with your hula hoop. This is a question that I've gotten a couple of times recently, so I wanted to share a couple of ways that you can get your hula hoops on your vacations or trips, wherever you happen to be going. This should be very helpful in getting your hula hoops there. The first way that I'd like to discuss traveling with your hoop is going to be a sectional hoop. This hoop is made up of four different pieces. Each one will break apart and disconnect so that you have four separate pieces that can easily fit into a suitcase or backpack, bag, anything you'd like. So the way that I do that is that I would disconnect all of the pieces here and I went ahead and done that already. All four pieces are together here and they are zip tied together. This is pretty easy to travel with. However, I know most of you might not have a sectional hoop. Um, so I've come up with a couple of different ways to travel with your hoop. This particular sectional was purchased from the Spinsters. I know many companies make these. Um, they usually price between about $45 to $70, depending on what you're looking for. Um, so that could be an option if you want to spend a little bit of money to make it very easy to travel with your hoop. The second way to travel with your hula hoop is to coil it down. So first you'll disconnect the hoop, you'll take each end and you'll pull them so that they overlap. This is an LED hoop, there's only so far that I can pull it without um, compromising the integrity of the components. So once you feel the hoop start to resist, you're going to want to stop when you have an LED. It shouldn't really fold. Um, or collapse into itself, it'll be about halfway before you stop and then you'll wanna tape it from here. So I've gone ahead and taped one so that I can show you what that looks like. I like to use electrical tape when I tape my hula hoops. That is the black tape. It's pretty easy to peel off and it doesn't leave a st sticky residue behind. So I've done that with this hoop here and you can see I've coiled it down I've taped it in three different spots. And then what I usually do for something like this is I take a carabiner and I will clip that to the side of the hoop, the smaller side, it's easier to get on here. And then you can take this and you can clip it to a backpack or something, maybe like a carry-on. Um, for an airplane, you can just board the plane, clip this off of your backpack, and then once everybody's loaded in the plane, go ahead and stick it in the overhead bin. And that way it doesn't get smashed. Um, you're kind of in eyesight of it at all times. You never want to lose your baby. So this is what coiling down your hoop would look like. Think of the video that for this particular trip I'm going on, I'm going to need several hoops. So the coiling method and the sectional weren't really an option because some of the hoops I'm going to travel with are LEDs, there would be multiple of them, and it just didn't seem like it would be effective to travel that way. So I purchased this beautiful brown bag. You'll notice it's got a Christmas pattern on here. That's because this is a wreath bag. So typically you'd store this in your garage with your, with your Christmas wreaths. They come in various sizes ranging from like 20 inches all the way up to 40 inches. This one is a 30 inch because most of my hoops are around 27 to 29 inches. So you just open this up here. It's got this great zipper. I've got all of my hoops inside of it. This trip, I'm going to be taking six hoops with me. You just put them in like this. It's even got this awesome little clip to hold them so they're not moving around too much. I do plan to also put this hoop snuggie over them just to keep them um, secured and safe because I don't know how the uh, luggage people for the airlines are gonna be handling the bag. Um, in the center here, there's another um, storage compartment. Um, it seems just perfect to put in maybe my hoop batteries, my silk fans are already in here, and I can put anything else I need for my trip in this bag. Um, I probably plan to travel with like a pillow, which will fit great, as well as um, keep the hoop safe while they're traveling. 
So I just noticed that the last clip did a pretty poor job of showing what this bag actually looked like. So I wanted to record a little bit more just to show you the details on it. So here you will see it is a round bag. It's got zippers all the way across on each side. And it's got these two great straps that you can hold it with, as well as another clip on the outside in case you need it. And the inside of it looks like this. It's got the interior pocket that zips all the way across. It's also got this clip on the inside. And all of my hoops fit perfectly in there. The final way to travel with your hoops is with a hoop snuggie. This is a um, just a piece of fabric sewn together. Um, it's got a lot of scrunch to it, so you can take it and just wrap it around your hoop so that the hoop is protected. This is really helpful if you're going to be going on a drive and you just don't want your hoop to get messed up. Um, this will protect, you know, probably about, I'd say up to maybe eight hoops. Um, they come in different sizes. This particular one is from Twirly Birds and many companies make these and there's still a little added protection for your hoop. And I just wanted to give a reminder to everybody that if you are traveling with a coiled hoop or a sectional hoop that's broken down to make sure that when you arrive to your destination, you put those back together, uncoil your hoop, just to make sure that it stays in its circular form that it should be. Um, if you leave them too long coiled, it might take a while for it to get back to its normal shape. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you like it, please do hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're filling up for it. You can comment below if you have any questions. You can also find me on Instagram at serenity underscore in underscore circles. And I'm always ready to talk to you about hooping and take any of your questions. And uh, safe travels to everybody. Happy hooping.